Hey, welcome. Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being back with me again. Hope things are going well for you and I hope you're having a great week. So today what I want to talk about a little bit is your limiting beliefs. What are some of the things that you've done that you've had great ideas about that you haven't followed through because of some of the limiting beliefs that you have? The things that are holding you back because you don't think you can do certain things or, or whatever it is. Now, if you have my mindset journal, one of the very first things in it is I have you go through and list out 101 goals. And in previous episodes, I've talked about this exercise. And when I talked about it, I said, put your mind in the state of a child, because when you're a child, you really don't have the limitations you have as an adult. And so I want to look at some of your limiting beliefs in that same fashion. What would you do? What would you attempt to accomplish? if you had the mind of a child rather than the mind of an adult that has limiting beliefs, that has things that's holding you back? And how many more things would you attempt? Now, I wanna share a story with you. Um, back seven years ago, we were coming to the end of a long process that we had been working on. We had been going through the process of adopting our son from the DR Congo in Africa and we knew we were getting close to the point when we were gonna be able to go pick him up. Now my daughter, um, at the time, my oldest daughter was 12 years old and she came to me and said, Dad, I, I wanna come with you to Africa when you go to pick up Jamari. And obviously traveling to Africa isn't cheap and there's a lot to it. And so I said, yeah, you're welcome to come if you pay your own way. Well, a 12-year-old with no money or no job, I didn't really think a lot about it after saying that. But that's what I want to talk about is the mind of a child. She wanted to go, so it wasn't impossible for her to figure out how to pay her way to go to Africa with us. And she did. She went to a friend of ours that was a graphic designer, and she designed t-shirts that had a logo that she had designed, had Forever Family on it, had a globe with a heart over Africa. And she started selling these shirts. We lived in Canada at the time, and I think half of Southern Alberta owns one of those shirts now. Um, and then she did other things. She was having garage sales. She was doing all these things. But with the mind of a 12 year old, she had no limitations. She just had to figure out how she was gonna raise enough money that she could go to Africa with us. And you know what? She did it. She raised enough money. And not only did she do that, while we were in Africa, she had enough money that she was able to go buy a playground set, buy soccer balls, soccer nets, basketball hoop, basketballs, swing sets, all these different things that she was able to donate to the orphanage. And, you know, one of the things I really remember about that is we went to her principal beforehand and said, you know, we really want to take Tia out of school. We're going to be in Africa for a few weeks and we'd like her to come with us. Is that going to be okay? And he basically says, you know, what better education is she going to get? Is, is she going to learn more by sitting in a classroom, learning about Africa and different parts of the world? Or is she going to learn more about going there for a few weeks and being immersed in the culture? And so it was a great experience. I mean, she, there was so much support as she did, did this, but the part I want you to recognize is this 12 year old needed to raise a lot of money to get herself to be able to come with us to Africa. But she not only did that, she did enough that she could donate all these other things to the orphanage while we were there. And so I want you to do that as you start looking at your goals and the dreams that you have and the things that you would like to accomplish. As soon as you start feeling and listening to those limiting beliefs going through your head, telling you why you can't do it and why it's not possible for you, I want you to put yourself in the mind of a child and make your decisions based on what you would do if you didn't have those limiting beliefs telling you you couldn't do it. So. Hopefully that's something that's going to be beneficial for you and help you to overcome some of your limiting beliefs and realize the capabilities that you have if you really set your mind to it and you really want something. 
If this is helpful, please share this with somebody else. Um, and this all ties in with mindset. And I want to continue making the offer that if you would like to have a free 45 minute strategy session talking about mindset secrets, the Mindset Secrets Academy and some of the strategies, how they could benefit you, how they could help you, send me a message at jeff at jeffhagey.com or just send me a DM um, on Instagram or Facebook, wherever you're listening to this and tell me you're interested and we will set up something and we will see what we can do to help you out with that. Thanks again. Please share this um, new article on jeffhagey.com if you want to go uh, check that out. Otherwise, we will talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.